The Buffalo Soldiers were the peacekeepers in the American West. Uh, they built camps, forts, railroads, delivered the mail, strung telegraph wires, charted the land, chased down outlaws, comancheros, Mexican revolutionaries. As a matter of fact, without the Buffalo Soldiers, the Westwood Movement would have been delayed 50 years. They paved the way. They stood up for America when America wasn't standing up for them. Well, in most museums you go to, you get content, and here you get context. The three things you need to know about the Buffalo Soldiers. Number one, when the units were formed in 1866. Number two, the four units that went on to become the Buffalo Soldiers, the 9th and 10th Cavalry, the 24th and 25th Infantry. And number three, how the Buffalo Soldiers got their name. It came from the Cheyenne Warriors. They saw two things in the soldiers that they saw in the Buffalo. It was their naturally curly hair and their ferocious fighting spirit. And they put those two things together and they came up with wild buffalo. And the term wild buffalo eventually became buffalo soldiers. These are the things that were available during the period. So the buffalo soldier period is from 1866 through World War II. This is how you wean the calf off of the mother. You put this on the calf nose and when they try to get milk from the cow, this hit the underbelly of the cow and little spikes hit the calf in the nose. This is a toaster, you open it up on the sides, you put the bread in here, you close it up, let it get to the texture you want, then you open it up and flip it over. This is a butter churn, it's an agitator for washing clothes. This is a pecan picker. You go like this when the pecans fall on the ground and then they would slip through here. We get visitors from around the world and there's a question that comes up every time whether this is a pecan or a pecan. We actually did a prospective, randomized, crossover, double-blind, placebo-controlled study to see whether this is a pecan or pecan. And the results were, this is a pecan, this is a pecan. <laughs> I know you was like that. <laughs> there was only one known female Buffalo soldier. Uh, her name was Cathay Williams. Uh, women were not allowed in the service, so she disguised herself as a man. She changed her name from Cathy Williams to William Cathy. The astronauts are the modern day Buffalo Soldiers because they're on the vanguard of civilization similar to the Buffalo Soldiers of 1866. These are actual in-flight uniforms, in-flight helmets, and the boots that they wear in the show. As a matter of fact, the regimental flag is the only regimental flag in the U.S that's been in outer space. The Buffalo Soldier National Museum, we have the largest collection of African-American military memorabilia in the world. You've only seen a small portion. Come out and see the rest. <laughs>